Donald Trump should take full responsibility for whatever is happening right now at ha Capitol Hill. Trump supporters storming uh, Capitol Hill and uh, basically creating a political crisis situation that we haven't seen in America in the past 20 years, maybe even ever. And uh, to be honest, Trump is a madman. And uh, surely uh, Joe Biden will be um, sworn in as the next president of America. But this whole situation with uh, Donald Trump will not uh, pass. I mean, Donald Trump will obviously not be the next president and uh, whatever he will be doing after the presidency is not as important. But what we see in America right now is that half of Americans are Trump supporters and they support a very radical, very aggressive, very violent message. And they will not disappear. So what will happen in four years when there's another candidate, maybe Donald Trump Jr. or some other more energetic, more aggressive, younger candidate who will capitalize on this electorate that Trump has created. So Trump's legacy is really radicalizing America and uh, this problem will uh, be evident in the next four years and eight years and probably even more. He has changed politics dramatically and not in the best way. What we're seeing in America right now is basically scenes of a failed state. If we saw this type of situation, for example, in Brazil or somewhere in Asia, somewhere anywhere really in, in the world where people are storming the parliament, we would probably uh, portray it as a failed state. But this is happening in America. And now all international partners of America, the European Union, other countries are witnessing whatever is happening in America and witnessing the real face of Donald Trump. So we are in a really big mess in America and uh, it will be very difficult to sort this out.